I blocked his eye. Amen. Come on. I'm Come coming on. anyway. Amen. Come on. Sometimes, folks, Jackson, we got to push on through. Yeah, it don't matter what we feel like. Come Amen. On. You know, like, all day long, I was like, man, I don't feel like. And, and Nancy even said, well, you want me to call Billy Kemp? I said, no. And then, then I get to feel a little worse, and I thought, well, maybe I ought to. You know? Uh -huh. But then I got to thinking, Brother Jesse, about Jesus carrying that cross of oh, Calvary. Come on, tell us. He didn't feel like carrying that thing up that hill, amen. But he pressed his way on up that hill, amen. For you and I, amen. But honey, it, don't, it ain't about our feelings, amen. He's worthy to be praised. It don't matter what we feel like, amen. Whether we feel good or we feel bad, we need to be praising, amen. It's easy to praise him when we're feeling good. Amen. But when we push on through, Brother Bill, I mean, I believe that's when we get our most blessed. Amen. I mean, when, when we had to sacrifice a little bit and we had to make ourselves go a little bit harder, shove ourselves a little bit, Brother Jesse, and make ourselves go on in anyway. Come on. No matter what we feel like, we got to press our way on in. Amen. Most of the talk you hear now is all about Obama. Yeah, that's right. And I can't tell you how I really know that that man got elected because I can't find nobody to vote for it. Yeah. Amen. But he got to office. Amen. Yeah. But he got to office on one word. Yeah. Talking about change. Yeah. Yeah. Promising change. Yeah. yeah. See, that's what the world's looking for. That's yeah. right. That's true. Yeah. They're looking for a change. Come on. But honey, you ain't gonna find a change in man. Come on. But then you can find a change, oh, brother. Oh, Amen. Oh, I can remember seven years back. Brother, Brother Jesse, I found a change. But I found it on my knees. Come on. And I know I'm for someone. There was a change that took place in my life. Honey, that's what that's what kind of change the world needs. Come on. Yeah, brother. They're looking for change in all the world wrong places. Come on. Amen. And they're looking for something that 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 to bring them hope. Amen. They're, they're looking to man to bring them hope, but man can't bring you hope. Man can't bring you happiness. The only happiness and hope you got is in Jesus. Amen. If you ain't got Him, honey, you ain't got no hope. Amen. We gotta trust in Him. Put our hope in Him. Amen. That's what'll bring the true change. That's what'll change your life. Amen. People think if I had a whole lot of money, that would change my life. It might for a little bit. Yeah. Amen. Or if I had a, I had a better job or a bigger house or a bigger car. I think that ain't what changes. It may last for just a little bit, Brother Jesse. Yeah. Amen. But it ain't going to last for eternity. Yeah. Like the change I'm talking Come about. On. I mean, if you are just in your life, there will be a change that takes place. That's all right, brother. You may say, well, I, I didn't get no change. I come and I pray and I get no change. Well, you didn't get it. Come on. Amen. You can pray to dust the dawn. If you don't, ain't no change when you get up from that altar, you didn't get it. That's Amen. Because there's a change that takes place. Amen. Come on, there, there, there's something that takes place and that, that you, makes you don't want to do the things you used to That's do, brother. Right, brother. Come on. It makes you not want to go to the places you want to go. Right, used to go. Amen. Yeah. It makes you not want to dress the way you used to dress. Come on, come on. It may not make you not want to talk like you used to talk. Come on. Amen. And act the way you used to act. Amen. There ought to be a change. A lot of Christians nowadays, you can't see much of a change in them. Come on. They call themselves Christians, but I don't see no change. Yeah. Honey, I don't believe you got it. Come amen. On. There's got to be a change to take place. Amen. But that's what the world is looking for, change. Right. Yeah. But they don't know where to look. That's right. Right. Yeah. They don't know where to look. Come on. Amen. There comes there's people that say that you, you can live like this, you can live like that, and still make it happen. You can't make it. Come on. Amen. The true change is it's the true word of God. Come on. That's what will change you. This word will change you, brother Jesse. Come on. Amen. If we, if we get in it, not just here, but to become a doer of it, it'll change our life. Amen. Come it'll on. change the way you walk. It'll change the way you go. It'll change the way you act. Amen. The eyes of person that used to be. To change I want, brother. Yes. I want to change daily. Come I on. want to get closer to him. See, I want I want to change from Bill to him. Come on. I want you to see oh, less of me and more of him. Amen. Oh, that, that's what I ought to be a goal to see less of us yeah. and more of him. Amen. More of him. Amen. But that's what that's what the world looks for. Look for change. Come on. But they're looking in all wrong places. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Come on. But there's a change that can take place in your life. Right. Amen. Come if we on. overcome things. It changes us. That's it, yeah. brother. When we start overcoming things, brothers, that's in our life, it changes us. Right. The Bible says in Revelations, I got it wrote down, 12 and 11, yeah. that they overcome yeah. by the blood of the Lamb yeah. and the word of their testimony. Yeah. When, they got, when they overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their it changes people. Right. See, your testimony can change people. Yes, it can, brother. 
Amen. You're casting them on them, uh, and you're daily walking, you're daily life to change people that's around you. Come on. Amen. And I the reason the devil fights so hard when people get up to testify, he don't want you to testify because they make a change. Come on. True. Because faith comes by hearing. Yes, sir. And hearing by the word of God. Amen. Amen. It'll change you. Amen. If you got your Bible, turn with me to Mark 5th chapter. Mark 5 and 25. There's that a certain woman had an issue of blood for 12 years. Mm -hmm. And it suffered many things of many positions. Right. It spent all that she had. Come on. And was none of the better, but rather grew worse. Yeah. Now this woman took all her money, Brother Jesse. Yeah, that's right. Looking for a change. That's Come right. On. She went to all these doctors, Brother Billy, Come looking on. for a change. She was looking for something that would change the, the condition that her body was in. Somebody that could stop this bleeding and said, so she could uh, be healthy again. Amen. She was looking for something, but she was looking in all the wrong places. Right. Come on. Come on, preach. Oh, but the 27 verse said, and when she heard of Jesus yeah. coming into prayer but, and touching him in the garden, said, when she heard. Yeah. Yeah. So somebody does some testify. Somebody does some testify. Telling this woman, I know that you done spent all your money. I know you done went to all these doctors. And the doctor said there ain't no hope. But honey, let me tell you about one that's coming by. Honey, if you get a hope of this one, if you get a hope of him, he is able to heal. He is able to set you free. See, that's why reason it's so important, your testimony. Because she done tried everything else. But somebody told her. Yeah. By one that's coming by. Yeah. And when she heard of this man coming to for she said, If I must touch but but his clothes, I shall be made whole. Yeah. And straight away her fountain of her blood was dried up. And she felt in her body that she was healed of his plague. And Jesus immediately knowing yeah. in himself that virtue had gone out of him. Yeah. Turn him up about in the, in the press and said well, who touched my clothes and the disciple said yeah. unto him mm -hmm. see if this multitude are in thee and said unto him, who touched me Come on. and he looked around about to see her that had done this thing but the woman feared to tremble knowing what was done in her came and fell down at, before him mm -hmm. and told him all the truth and Come he on. said unto her Daughter, thy faith has made thee whole. Go in peace. Be whole of the plague. So Jesus <coughs> healed her. Yeah. All because somebody told her yeah. about a man that was coming by. Somebody told her that no matter what the doctor said, it don't matter if your bank account doesn't run out. It don't make no difference. It's still somebody that you can turn to. There's somebody that you can put your trust in. There's somebody that can help you. There's somebody that can make a change come in your life. And she got to Jesus and she touched him. And the disciples said, what do you mean who touched him? All of these people are touching him. But see, this woman touched him with something that was different. See, she touched him with that faith that she got from hearing of the Word of God. And she touched him with the faith that she got that she got a change when somebody told her about Jesus. See, people are looking for a change, honey. The change will come in Jesus. There is no other change, amen. You can't get it from the mama. You can't get it from the world. You can't get it from your money. You can't get it from your doctor. But you can get it from Jesus. That's where the change will take place. Amen. The change is in him. Thank you, Jesus. Heaven and earth shall pass away. Yeah. But his word's going to stay. Come on. And his word will not change, Brother Jesse. Honey, this old fashioned King James Bible will not change. Amen. It ain't going to change for you, and it ain't going to change for me. Amen. Sin is sin, and it always will be sin. Amen. There's too many people want to water it down. Honey, you can find a church on every corner. You can live in any kind of sin you want to live in, and find a church that you can go to and feel comfortable with. That's right. Come on. That's right. Come on, Something wrong with that picture. Yes, sir. Yeah. Sin should not feel comfortable in your church. Right. right. Come, Come on. on. Amen. Come on. It shouldn't feel comfortable when you're in church. Come on. Yeah, Amen. Come on. If you're yeah. preaching the truth. Come on. I mean, I ain't saying beat somebody over the head with the Bible because Come you know on. what you're doing, but I guarantee you, if you're sinning or God will get around to touch oh, you. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Amen. And his timing and his will. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. It shouldn't feel comfortable when you're in your church. Come on. Yeah. Amen. 
Too many churches feel comfortable. See? Yeah. Amen. You can find a church on every corner. That's right. You can live. If you if you want to live this way, you may not be able to live and go to this church. Come on. But you can live and go to this church down the road. Yeah. Amen. Something wrong. Come on, say. Amen. People want to change, but they don't want to change. Exhort. Get to change. Come on. There's got to be a change take place. Exactly. Amen. If we're going to make it to heaven, brother Jesse, that's right. We got to change. Absolutely. We got to change. Right. My Bible tells me sin will not enter in. That's right. Amen. So we got to make a change. Come on. We got to make a change. But when this woman heard mm -hmm. of Jesus, yeah. When she heard of a testimony, come on. I guarantee you, there's not a one in here tonight. Oh, come on. That somebody didn't tell you. Somebody told you about Jesus. Yes, sir. Somebody testified to you Absolutely. about Jesus. And because of that person's testimony, it changed your life. Yes, sir. Amen. See, we're looking for change Amen. in the wrong place. Come on. Amen. We're looking for presidents to change our life. Yes. Amen. But that's the reason people vote people in like it, because that's what they're looking for, brother. Yes, yes. Amen. We got a lost and dying world out there, honey, that's looking for somebody oh. that's got something that'll change them, amen. Looking for somebody that'll give them hope, amen. Somebody that'll give them love when no nobody else loves them, brother. Oh. Amen. amen. Somebody that, that'll bring them in no matter if they are alcoholic or a drug addict. Oh. It don't make no difference, honey. You better be ready to welcome them into your house of God, amen. Oh. You better be willing to let them come in so you can preach them the word, amen. Oh. Amen. Oh. But it'll bring change. Yeah. Amen. That's true. Mark the 10th chapter. In the 46th verse. And they came to Jericho and they, they went to out of Jericho with his disciples and a great number of people. Yeah. Blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, mm -hmm. sat by the highway side begging. <clears throat> and when he heard, it was Jesus and Nazareth. Yeah. He began men to cry out and say, Thou son of David, have mercy on me. So when he heard. Yeah. See, he couldn't see him, Brother Jesse. Come on. He couldn't even see him coming down the road. But somebody told him yeah. that there was somebody that was coming by that day. Come on. Yeah. I mean, there was somebody that was coming by that day that could make a change in his life. Amen. I mean, he wouldn't have to be the blind man standing by the roadside no longer. Amen. I mean, there was somebody that was coming by that could change his life. Amen. It's turning around. Amen. I mean, and said so when he heard it. that it was Jesus, yeah. that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Yeah. And many charged him that he should hold his peace. But he cried more a great deal. Yeah. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. Oh, and Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. And they called him, called a blind man, saying unto him, Be of good comfort. Rise. He calleth thee. Yeah. And he cast away his garment, rose, and came unto Jesus. And Jesus answered and said unto him, What will it that I should do unto thee? The blind man said unto him, Lord, that I might receive my sight. Come on. And Jesus said unto him, Go thy way, thy faith hath made thee whole. Yeah. And immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus in the way. Immediately he received his sight. And it's all because somebody told him. Yeah. About a man that was passing by. Amen. He couldn't even see him, brother Jesse. Amen. Amen. But he heard about a man that was passing by. Oh, well, yeah. That could change his life forever. Come on. And ever and ever. Yeah. Honey, there's folks out there dying. Somebody needs to tell them yeah. that there's somebody that can change yeah. Amen. Yeah. their life. Brother Billy, there's people out there that don't know that they don't have to live like they're living. That's right. yeah. True. There's people that's hooked on drugs and alcohol and don't know that they can get off of that thing. Amen. 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 And you don't have to go no whatever AAA and all that stuff Rehab. to get off that yeah. stuff. I mean, I'm talking about a man that can change it. That's it, brother. Come at on. the snap of your fingers. Amen. Amen. There's a change fixing to take place. Brother Jesse said something earlier. I believe he called it shifting in the spirit. Yeah. The way I felt it was a change in the spirit. Oh, Same thing, I guess. Yeah. Amen. There's a change that's fixing to take place, brother. Yeah. Come on. You know, I, I say, I, I, I believe with all my heart that Jesus is getting ready to step out of clouds. Amen. Yeah. Come and come get his church. Amen. The devil is fighting with everything he's got. Yeah. Amen. And we can see it all around the world. We can see everything in the world. Like, 
One battle right after another battle, you don't even get out of one until you get into another anymore, amen? Oh. Used to, you would get a little bit of break, but not no more there, but one right after another. I see it all the time. But I do also see Jesus is moving like never before. Oh, amen. Yeah. I see a change, Brother Jeff, Come that's coming forth, amen? I see a change in his preachers, amen? Yeah. I see a change taking place in some of his churches, amen? Oh. Some of his churches are starting to line up with oh. God's Word, amen? That, yes. that, that, that's, that got off the track a little bit, but they're coming back. Amen to the old paths. Amen. Come on, brother. Honey, we better seek God with everything we got. Yes, amen. Sir. Amen. Because there's people out there's lives depend on you and I. Amen. That's it. Amen. There's a change that's going to take place. Amen. The Bible says, seek you first, the kingdom of God. Come on. Come on. And everything else will be added yeah, to us. Too, amen. Yeah. We don't have to worry about changing everything else, brother. Right. Oh, I got to worry about seeking him. Sure. Amen. Everything that I need to be changed, you change it for me. Absolutely. If I seek him, right. with everything I got, amen. But well, we got to seek him, amen. Absolutely. There's another change that's fixing to take place. The Bible talks about in, in 1 Corinthians 15 chapter, about 51, 52 verse, I think. There's going to be a change in a twinkling of an eye. Right. We're going to change, Brother David. Yeah. There's going to be a change that's fixing to take place. Amen. One of these days, that trumpet's going to sound. Amen. Yeah. And there's fixing to be a change taking place. Amen. A change that uh, our life is going to be formed like Him. Amen. Come our on. body's going to be formed like yeah. Him. We're going to be like Jesus. Amen. Yes, One of these days, this old, this old body, this old shell we got, just like Brother Jackson talking about, her, honey, this ain't a world, ain't ours. Amen. That's this good. is just a shell for me. I'm just passing through it. Like, exactly. Amen. This ain't my home. Amen. Yeah. I've got a better home awaiting on the other side. Amen. And one of these days when that trumpet sounds, that uh, there's going to be a change that's going to take place. Oh, yes. Amen. And we're going to leave this old world. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Brother Jackson, we're going to a place where there ain't going to be no more sorrow. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. There ain't going to be no more of sickness. Amen. Yeah. There ain't going to be no more storms, no more trials, no more battles. Amen. No more heartaches, no more saying goodbye. Amen. Yeah. We're going to be a goal be with Jesus. Yeah, That's the change I'm looking for. Yeah. That's the change that I've got my goal set for. Amen. That's the change that I want. Amen. I want to change from me to Him. Yeah. Amen. 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 I want to, I want to make it home, Brother Jesse. I want to make heaven my home, as you were talking about earlier. Amen. I don't want to miss it. I don't come too far. Come on. Amen. To come give up now. Amen. Yeah. But this world ain't got the change for you. They ain't got what you need. They ain't got what you're longing for. Amen. Yeah, yeah. See, there's a void spot in your heart. Amen. Right. That ain't nothing, ain't nothing, ain't nothing in this world ever going to feel. I don't care. You can try all the alcohol. You can try all the drugs. You can try all this. And you can try all that. Well, nothing ever feel it but Jesus. Right. That's all the thing ever feel it is Him. Amen. He left that void there for Him. Yeah. Amen. And won't exactly. nothing ever feel it but Amen. Jesus. Amen. And that's the only thing I'll ever change. You. Absolutely. In Jesus. <laughs> That's the only thing that's ever going to change this world is Jesus. Amen. If you want the answer for changing this world, you can find it in 2 Chronicles 7 14. If my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my faith and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, forgive their sins and heal their land. But honey, see, a lot of people, they don't want to turn from them, Brother Jesse. Amen. They don't want to turn away from them. we got to get rid of this stuff, church. Amen. We ain't going to make it on watered down stuff. We're going to have to walk this thing as close as we can walk. I know ain't none of us perfect. Ain't none of them going to be perfect. But honey, we better be striving to walk this thing as close as we can walk it. Amen. Amen. we got to be more than just a hearer. Amen. we got to be a doer of this word. Amen. Line up with it. Amen. Try to walk it as best as we can. Amen. I know this is our trials and heartaches and battles, but we better do what we can do. Amen. And I promise you, the closer you walk with him, the more change you'll get. The more he'll change you, Brother Jesse. The more he'll change me like him. Amen. The closer I can get to him. Him, amen. Yes, amen. If we're just searching right. to Him, amen. I'm looking for a change, church. Amen. I'm looking for a change. I'm looking for a trumpet to sound, and I ain't gonna be saved no more. There's gonna be a change take place. We're leaving here, Sister Reese. One of these days. Amen. There's gonna be a change take place. Amen. Give the Lord a hand for His word. That's what the Lord. Needs. Amen. <coughs>